Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I am G1 Writer with G1 Insights. Today is all about love, okay? I am doing your overall love, extended love focus for the month of September. I really hope that this reading resonates with you, if not all of you. This is a general reading. If you would like something more personal, check out my website, g1insights.org. It will be posted here in the top or on the bottom, okay? So please click on the link. Guys, I also have these beautiful chakra bracelets for sale. They are about $10. So, and I handcraft them myself. So if you feel like you just want to pick up your energy a little bit and you feel like, you know, you want to get more in tune with your chakras, I can definitely assist you in raising your vibration, okay? So let's get started. I do had I kind of preset your cards here because I just felt so much peaceful energy, dear love. Ooh. So much peace, so much calm energy, so much love, so much love, guys. Okay, I had to say that twice. <laughs> so much love, okay? Now, the thing is this, okay? I'm going to actually step away for a second because I forgot something. So give me one second, guys, okay? I actually need to get something, so bear with me. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so I went to go get... um my bow so I can, I want to tire my hair. My hair is all over the place, okay? So, <laughs> give me a second. All right, so, so, this is what's going on, all right? You guys have so much beautiful energy here that it's like, I see a lot of peace, and I actually felt the peace, actually, while I was shuffling your cards, okay? So there's definitely some type of peace here, like a, a sense of calm, calmness, you know, like you guys are finally with the individual that you have waited for for so long. For a lot of you, this is a twin flame. For a lot of you, this is a soulmate. And it feels so real. Like for some of you, this is beautiful. Like you're like head over heels, way too excited. For some of you... You're trying to, it's like a lot of you are possibly engaged or maybe thinking about marriage. Maybe marriage is on the mind. Maybe there has been some previous issues in a serious relationship that you really, really just can't seem to walk away from or, you know, whatever the energy is. I mean, we are still dealing with a lot of that Pisces full moon energy at the very beginning of September. So uh, expect to be emotional, you know, expect to have all these different emotions flying. I mean, I'm talking about being emotional about every damn thing, about love, about career, being extra passionate. And for some of you, maybe even a little sensitive, because even as the, the month go on, your ruling planet, okay, which is also Virgo's ruling planet, Mercury will go into Virgo, okay? At the end of the month, we're going to be getting ready for Venus to go retrograde, okay? So, ooh. So, that is going to also be exciting, okay? For some of you, this is all about communication this season. It's all about expressing your love for this individual, okay? So, like I said, you guys are falling in love. For a lot of you, this is taking someone back. This is maybe forgiving someone. This is here the... This is the Knight of Water. When I think about the Knight of Cups, I think of someone that is romantic, very charming, someone that is very humorous, um, very intelligent, very smooth, knows how to say all the right things, all at the right time. For some reason, they just know what to say to, like, make you feel good and to make you feel beautiful. Like, they just got the gift of gab, okay? Like, they just know what they're talking about half the time. So, uh, a lot of you love intellectual conversations, and I feel like this person here 
it's going to give it to you, okay? If this is not them giving it to you, then this is definitely your energy, dear love. This is you giving that energy to them, showing them that, yes, you are interested. You are in love. You're crazy, head over heels in love with them, okay? So this is, if it's not someone doing it to you, then this is definitely you wooing a person, okay? So good for you, Gemini. So falling in love and being romantic and through enthusiastic about love, wanting to like express yourself and tell the world about this person. This is also being invited to a special event. If you guys are single and you're looking for love, this may be a simple social invite where you may end up meeting this particular individual at that event, okay? I also see a lot of emotional energy here. So I also see the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is also another emotional energy. So it is all about, you know, developing a new relationship, even even if this means developing a relationship with yourself, you know, this is about moving forward, you know, and that's why you guys have the four fire here as well. Um, the four fire here is, um, you know, the four of wands in traditional tarot deck. And this is celebration, you know, this is engagement, contentment, this is peace, this is a happy home life, this is marriage, this is, you know, you guys finally being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor when it comes to love. So how beautiful is that, right? Beautiful. This is really finally about, you know, your this relationship being successful, you know, um, taking someone back, rekindling that old friendship or that reigniting that spark, reigniting that compassion. That's what this energy is all about today, okay? This energy is also about nurturing your relationship, nurturing yourself before you get into a relationship. Heal those old wounds, you know, take care of things that really made you feel um, insecure, things that made you feel unloved or unwanted. This is really about just moving forward and having balance. The word balance popped up more than once in your reading here. It popped up in our energy deck and it also popped up here in our archangel deck as well, okay? And I'll get into that in a moment. But I wanted to discuss, you know, some of this energy here with you because I do see the angel of balance. Okay, let me just show you guys what that looks like. Um, Sorry, let me just show you guys what that looked like upright because this is a normally a very, very beautiful card and it teaches us how to um, have balance, even in love or any type of relationships, even with ourselves or with others, you know, but coming out in reverse is, um, this is about you guys, I guess, maybe learning that balance or, um, it could be maybe that maybe something is not quite right. Maybe there's something that you need to look deeper into. And again, this could be about just kind of noticing some things that you need to change about yourself or about, you know, maybe there's something that has been going terribly wrong in the relationship and maybe you're realizing, you know, the bad habits or something that has been driving you guys apart. Um, this either way, it's like a loving warning that something may be uh, seriously out of proportion in your life, you know, and whatever it is, it really highly suggests that you focus on that. If you want to have that, I want to show you guys what this looks like in a traditional tarot card deck, because it's a really, I mean, this is a really beautiful card too, by doing in virtue. I love this, but this is also, um, this card represents, it's so beautiful in the traditional tarot deck. Like, it's like four people, I mean, or two people celebrating, really. Um, and it has the four of wands, and it's really, really beautiful. There's flowers everywhere. Like, it's really beautiful. And so, I feel like the universe is saying, listen, if you focus on all of this energy from the past, and you take time to heal, you know, anything that is unbalanced, you can have that stable emotional relationship. Like, you can have that stability in your love life, okay? This could be an important emotional component, such as the lack of self-acceptance um, or maybe even self-care, okay? So it doesn't surprise me that the Queen of Cups came out because that's exactly what this is. This is all about 
taking better care of yourself, nurturing yourself, you know, being more sympathetic, being more caring and more loving, being a bit more compassionate towards yourself and towards others, okay? Um, yeah, see, there you go, being empathetic. So being patient, being loving, you know, so a lot of your cards are really, you know, resonating together. But so remember, however, that when you put yourself last, okay, the universe will do likewise. So it's like if you feel like if you're always working or if you have not been taking out the necessary time to make time for this individual or to make time for your marriage or to even make time for those that love you, you have to remember that the energy you put out there, dear love, you will get it right back, okay? People will not have time for you. People will not care for you. If you're not caring about yourself, why should they care about you? If you're not going to the doctor and, you know, taking care of yourself, taking your medication and, you know, you're just not caring and not giving a damn, you know, you can't really expect others to care. If you don't have self-respect, you can expect everyone else to respect you. So this is really genuinely strongly considering that you may be having deep feelings and you may be falling in love or may have some insecurities about falling in love. But dear love, you have to take better care of yourself, okay? This energy reminds me a lot of Taurus energy. So if you guys have Taurus in your birth chart anywhere as a moon, sun, or rising sign, please check that energy out. Even if you have Venus in Taurus, this may be for you as well, okay? So this can also be or represents that um you know this could be maybe you guys are really exhausted and maybe you guys are just not really ex you know expressing yourself that much lately and maybe your partner is feeling left out of the equation maybe you are having too much fun and they feel left out of the equation something is going on something is not quite right okay whenever we see this we know that something may be off okay because normally like i said it's all about balance that's what this is the angel of balance dear love so this could be a warning of lost energy maybe something is telling you hey you need to relax more stop stressing over the little things um, maybe you need to sleep more, or maybe you need to just drink more water. Maybe you, I just feel like you guys' health is like really huge for you this season. Even in your life and love focus, I discussed a lot of these same things, dear love. So please, please, for those of you that have been neglecting your health, dear love, it does not make your partner feel stable and secure when they don't know if you're going to be here with them for the next 10 years. Like, you know, like, you have to take better care of yourself, Gemini, okay? So investigate how you may be out of balance in your time and energy. Regarding the externals or internals in your life, you know, the rest of these cards really do it. You know, they really are in alignment with this. And it's just crazy because this is a love focus and your health is very strong. I even see, you know, your third eye even came out as well, the third chakra. So this is even more interesting, okay? Just remember, you do have power, dear love, to make yourself feel better. You don't have to deal with these different challenges all the time that you're putting yourself through. But dear love, please look deeper into the situation. That is what this energy is all about. Your third chakra is you know, literally, like, the center of you, the center of your soul, the center of your life. You understand? If you do not understand your third eye, dear love, please, you have to learn to tap into that energy, okay? Because the minute you begin, I have shared this, you know, a lot recently. I have been talking about it all August. You know, it seemed like even in the month of September, I'm going to be talking about it a lot as well because you're not the only person with this similar energy, dear love. Okay, this is a definitely a season where you have to be more grounded. Okay, and the best way to do that is to find out what's blocking your energy in the first place. These issues here... Re you know, revolve around emotions of, you know, desire in your personal energy. So when this appears like upright, you know, we know that we are being encouraged to be more grounded, to be more well-developed, to balance our emotions. 
Like I said, that word emotion is here a lot. The word balance is here a lot. Okay. This is also indicated like some type of increased happiness okay so it's like even though you need to clear up some energy if you want all these amazing things to happen you definitely have to clear your energy dear love because the angel of balance is here to guide you to lead you you know to help you get right back on the right path okay so there is potential for contentment there is potential for peace and an abundant life there is potential for this person to fall in love with you and vice versa there's a lot of potential dear love but first if you want to see it dear love you're going to have to really make some changes okay but i do see increased happiness increased enthusiasm it's either it's either going to happen soon or it's literally like on the way okay but nevertheless, being I see the like I said, I see the four of the ones here, so it lets me know that this is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is uh, your life force is basically vibrating with power, you know. And it, everything, like I said, is just basically resonating together. I mean, all of these cards are basically saying the same thing to you. Your soul is calling you to direct, you know, to direct your energy. Direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. The angel of power is with you. You don't have to feel... Like, you can't have this, dear love. Look what that say. You can have contentment. You can have peace. The abundance is coming. We know that you're falling in love. We know that you're happy. We know that you want greatness. We know that, you know, love is like all over the place lately. We know that. We get it. Okay? We get it. And it is happening. That's the crazy part. It is happening. Little do you know, like, it actually is. It's actually working out for you. So you get that. You actually get to celebrate this time. Like, you get to celebrate, okay? That is what I see here. Celebration. But first, we need to heal all of this. <laughs> that is what I feel. Now, let's talk about the world card really quickly because I'm running out of time. So, the world's card, I know in traditional tarot deck, this is a really, really good sign, okay? You know, anytime I see the world's card, I do know that it's all about building and foundation and things moving along, you know, good luck, you know, a good luck charm is on the way, or something amazing is happening between you and this person. So, even if you are single, it's like you are finding yourself again, you know? Like, if you're not falling in love with an individual, then you're falling back in love with yourself so self-confidence is definitely on the horizon okay this is literally about even for those of you that are single you know look at the world around you keeping your options open you know not settling for less there's a lot of individuals to consider you have options so that is what I think of when I see the world card. Because even in traditional tarot deck, I do know that the world card is a very, very good symbol, okay? So this could, I mean, I know that when it comes to like our material or worldly things or um, even... Hmm, this could just be simply maybe creating or maybe you want to create a new way of being when it comes to love. Maybe you want to have a different approach when it comes to love. This could also be expanding, you know, expanding your horizon, networking, getting to know new people, socializing, getting out more. So, basically, getting the world card is letting you know that you don't have to settle for less. You have unlimited resources that are available to you, and now is the time to think 
big, dear love. Whenever you see the world card, just know that this is good news, okay? And even in tradition, the tarot deck, I get excited when I see the world card because it lets me know that everything is balanced. Everything is working out for me. You know, the universe is working in my favor, okay? So you do have options that are open to you, that are available to you. So do not give up, dear love. Do not give up, okay? As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. <laughs> so, now that I'm done playing with my cards, okay, <laughs> let's see what's going on. So, let's see what your love cards are saying to your love. All right, it's kind of dark in here. I should brighten it up, right? It's kind of dark. I actually have a headache, too. Ooh. That's what I was doing. I was like massaging my head while I'm talking because my head is hurting me. I'm probably thinking too much. All right, so let's see Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yes, 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 Gemini. As a reminder, this is your extended love focus for the month of September, and love looks good, okay? So thank you. Woo, look at that. My goodness, and look what card flipped out. Express your love. Wow, I'm going to keep that. That's beautiful. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Gemini. Calling on Venus, the goddess of love and beauty and everything wonderful. Thank you so much for your beautiful energy. Thank you for assisting me. Woo! Gemini, your car is just... Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> Free yourself, dear love, and keep an open mind. I'm telling you, guys, Taurus got the same energy. Oh. Guys, if you have Taurus in your birth chart anywhere, I'm telling you, please, please look at Taurus love focus, okay? Because this, this, I'm telling you, they had a lot of the same energy about resting, taking care of themselves, you know, treating love better, oh, keep an open mind, express yourself, woo! Oh my God, Look, just look at them. Don't they look like they are crazy? crazy about each other like they are just so in love and look at that dear love free yourself from bondage from insecurity from things that don't feel good free yourself dear love from baggage free yourself from drama he say she say no more gossiping it's time to have fun who cares what they think it's time to have fun loosen up get out go date that person go to their house cook them a meal or two have fun Woo, woo. All right. It is time to take back control of your life, Gemini. Look at how beautiful that energy is, okay? Keep an open mind. Honey, keep an open mind. Look at that. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Do not allow previous relationships to crush your idea of what love could look like. Enjoy the love. Enjoy the love. All right? Express yourself. Let them know what you need, dear love. Let them know what you are feeling. Let them know, look, I am crazy about you. Let them know I cannot be without you. I think about you all day. When I'm at work, I can't get you off my mind. Your sex is so good. I love being with you. You make me laugh. I love the fact that we have chemistry. I love that you really love me. Let them know how you feel, my love. Woo, Gemini, your energy is beautiful when it comes to love this season. Beautiful energy. So I love you, Gemini. I really hope that this reading resonates with you. Check out my website, g1insights.org. It will be posted at the top or the bottom here, okay? So. Please like, share, subscribe, share this video with the rest of the world because guess what? It's going down this season. <laughs> so I love you, Gemini. Bye.